Rajon Rondo enjoyed one of best seasons in years with the New Orleans Pelicans but they were unable to re-sign him in free agency as he opted to join the Los Angeles Lakers instead. That meant the Pels had to go into the market for a starting point guard to replace the veteran. It didn't take long as they quickly agreed a one-year deal with Alfred Payton after he left the Phoenix Suns. But they definitely had multiple options to choose from and one of those was Isaiah Thomas. It appears that New Orleans tried to sign the 29-year-old but couldn't come to an agreement for whatever reason. That revelation was made by Anthony Davis after Thomas signed a one-year, $2 million deal to join the Denver Nuggets. IT was conducting an Instagram Live video and Davis posted some interesting comments that clearly implied that they tried to bring him on board. Damn we tried to get you killa lol, he said with his first comment that he followed that up by saying, I don't know what happened. We would be super nice too. AD looks to be lamenting the team's failure to land the two-time All-Star by with the Nuggets getting him on a veteran's minimum of just $2 million, it must surely have been the Pelicans' decision not to capture him. They had very little to spend after signing Julius Randle to a two-year contract to replace the outgoing DeMarcus Cousins but they could easily have matched the offer Denver gave him. It's likely that Thomas would have preferred a move to New Orleans as they had a starting spot open on the roster, unlike the Nuggets where he'll now be playing backup to Jamal Murray. Davis obviously feels he could have forged a good partnership with the 5 feet 9 inches guard but unfortunately for the big man, it didn't materialize. That responsibility will now fall to Payton, who isn't a dynamic scorer like Isaiah but is more of a willing passer and playmaker which could suit his new superstar teammate. He was only in Phoenix for 19 games but he recorded multiple triple doubles in that time and can become a solid addition, especially as he's playing back in his hometown. For Thomas, the opportunity in Denver will be good for him as he aims to rebuild his career in the hope of earning a longer and more rewarding contract next summer. He may be a reserve but he'll be a leading player on the second unit and have the freedom to pad his stacks.